All right, so today we're fishing on a reef called Halakut's Noose, which is uh, just at the mouth of the Eastern Bay, just off of Ken Island, which you see behind me. Um, and this is a unique site. <clears throat> it's a fish haven area designated by the state. Um, we, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, put down about 89 reef balls on this site uh, to uh, facilitate better habitat, increased growth in oysters. The whole reef area is anywhere from 15 to 25 feet deep. And so that reef, those reef balls create an instant reef, instant habitat for different fish and other creatures to hide in there. And so we're fishing on top of this today uh, with the Rodden Reef Slam, trying to look at the diversity of fish that are living here. And, and oyster reefs are great places to focus on fish diversity because there's all sorts of different food items there for them, whether it's small mud crabs, whether it's different types of worms or isopods and amphipods that are living in and around that reef. And then those small fish that are there feeding on those creatures attract the larger fish like your sea trout and your rockfish and, and maybe even some bluefish. So these oyster reefs, in terms of fishability, are absolutely the magnet for a lot of people that are out fishing today. Finding them, uh, a lot of them are listed on charts. A lot of the fish haven areas are listed on charts. Um, you can find a list of uh, different oyster bars on uh, different websites, like DNR has a, has a good list of all the oyster bars. Um, but when you do find one, you often look at your depth finder and you'll start to see some contour to the bottom. You'll see some structural habitat that exists down there um, where the, the depth finder will be fairly flat uh, and then all of a sudden you'll, you'll see a rise and you'll see some bottom contour. Um, and you'll start to see fish associated with that on your depth finder. Uh, how do you fish there? A lot of times you're fishing right on the bottom with uh, a bottom rig and, and some sort of bait, whether it's bloodworms or squid strips or, or spot bellies um, or soft crab is another popular one. But fishing right on the bottom, trying to catch those small fish. Uh, and then you can use those small fish uh, to live line for, for larger rockfish. I don't know. That would be, I don't know. Oh yeah. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Look at that. I'd love to say that that was staged. Yeah, we were just doing like a oyster reef talk and it was like, oh, wow. we actually right on cue. Got another spot. So you can, so this is a spot. Some people call them, refer to them as Norfolk spot. Um, pretty, let me get them off the hook here. Ooh, put that down. Um, woo. So you can see that that false eye spot right there is how they get their name. But uh, this is just a, a bottom feeding fish, downward facing mouth right here. Looks like a vacuum nozzle, slurping stuff off the bottom. This one go. Yep. Um, and so they're gonna start migrating back down the bay. But that's a, a popular, really great resource fish for the reefs. Um, they're feeding on a lot of different things and uh, a lot of things are feeding on them. So these oyster reefs, you know, we've just been focused on the fishing side of it, uh, which is great, which is, is interface with user, you know, user groups. Uh, but the environmental aspect of it is those oysters are providing structural habitat for all those different species and biodiversity. Uh, and then those oysters themselves are filtering the bay, just tremendous filtering capacity from a reef and all of those individual oysters that are uh, filtering down there. So they're filtering out algae and phytoplankton, which helps make the water clearer, which helps everything else, whether it's underwater grass that's on the inshore, whether it's all the different fish that are feeding here. Um, the, the reef itself um, provides that, again, that structural habitat, the oysters filter, and then the reef also helps to mix the water so that we have better uh, dissolved oxygen levels from the top to the bottom. 